Now, Lizzie has one of the most advanced template engines that exists in the industry. And what we're going to do in this video is we're going to go through how to set up a job template and some of the uh, features that you can take advantage of when you're working with them. So the first thing to understand is that you have total control of the hierarchy of how you're laying these things out. And by that, what I mean is that if you want to go in and set up the jobs, for example, oil change, and then I want to, once I pick oil change, I want to list out all the model numbers, or maybe I want to list out the vendors and then the model numbers, or maybe I want to list out the model numbers and then the jobs that go with those particular model numbers. You control how you want this thing to look and how you want it to be organized. So I would give it a little bit of thought before you just jump in here and start creating things. So the first thing to understand is that the the when this control first opens and again i'm in settings invoicing job templates and the first thing that we want to do is we want to give it the master name the the main category of items that's going to show up first um, if you don't see the item that you want in here you just tell it to add a master so let's just tell it to add a master and we'll call this uh, glenn test and we'll tell it to save and at this point, I can either define a template that is going to actually be something that I can choose as soon as I pick Glenn Test, or maybe I want to add a sub item to Glenn Test and I want to make it be a model number. So let's just come in here and we'll say that this is going to be model uh, one. And then let's say we want to add another sub item to Glenn Test. So this time we're going to go in and we'll, we'll call it model two. And you can do this as much as you need to do. Now, there's one thing that you need to be aware of is once we get more than one model in here, you'll notice that this thing has actually chosen that model for me automatically. And now if I add a sub, it's telling me to add it to model two instead of the Glenn test. So to get it to go back to adding more models over here, we can come up here and clear the, the list. So we just choose the one up here that's blank. And you'll notice that all of the things here changed back over to working with Glenn test. Some of the other options we have here, we can remove a template or a, a, an item from the dropdown. We can rename it or we can add another sub item to it. Now, once I choose this guy, you'll notice that all of these menus are now working with this sub. So I can literally go as, as deep here as I want to do. So let's say that we say model sub one. And so now what you're going to see is that now the drop down list is starting to build farther and farther to the right. And there is no limit as to how far across you want to go. I wouldn't go too far because it'll take forever to set up the templates when you're doing the service tickets, but you can go as far as you want to go. Now at some point I'm going to get far enough over here that I'm now ready to actually create a template. And to do the template, you'll notice that it's been sitting here the whole time wanting to know where you want to define it. Um, we're going to define this as a regular template. Template. We actually have the ability to do uh, setup, repair, install, PDI, and FNI templates as well that work with major unit sales. So you can do whatever you need to do here with respect to the type of template you're going to create. Um, you can also tell it that this, this is a consignment pre-inspection template. Um, and that shows up over on the major unit stuff when you're going, getting ready to create internal tickets. Um, if it does happen to be an F and I ticket, you can select the type of F and I that this thing goes with and then who the provider is of that F and I, um, we're going to give it a title. Let's just say that we're going to do an oil change. And we can hook it to a particular model number. You can see here the job classifications that we were talking about earlier. Um, you also have free if after programs. If this is going to be a, an oil change free if after program, this is where we would actually set that so that Lizzie knows to keep track of it for each customer that uses it. Um, we can set up our shop materials, EPA, labor rates. Um, the final out the door price is actually used by Lizzie when you first choose a template. The system will actually go and calculate what the discount needs to be in order to meet that out the door price. So the final price flag is that our field is actually used 
so that you can tell the system, okay, this month I'm doing oil changes for $35. The, the system will put the parts on there, put the labor on there, and then say, okay, when I've added all this up, I'm, I need to discount it $10 to get back down to $35. And, and that's basically what the, the final price does for you. Uh, we can also fill in manufacturer flat rate information on this particular job if we want to store that uh, with the template. Um, the service tech schedule, um, this is just a, an approximate amount of time that it should take a service tech to do this work um, to kind of help with the scheduling when you're scheduling stuff on the, the schedule incoming. Um, we can type in our service required, service performed, and then once we're done, we're just going to tell it to add the job template. And you'll notice over here on the left, it's actually showing us the job template that we just added. Um, but you'll also notice over here that it has added an additional control now that we have a job template to allow us to attach part numbers to this template. So to do that, all we're going to do is start typing in the part number that we want to, to attach, select the item that we want to attach, tell it the, the quantity. We're going to measure it by the job, but you, you can see that we also have uh, other ways of measuring it. Whether we want to ask how many of these things need to be applied at the particular point that we put it on the invoice, and then just tell it to add the item to the template. And now we can see that we've got one item added to this particular template. So what this does for me is whenever I choose this particular template, Lizzie will automatically order the parts or pull them out of stock so that when the mechanic's ready to do the work, everything is there and ready for him to use. So again, you can create as many different levels as you want to create. You then basically go in and define what the template's going to be, how, what parts you want to have on it, any notes that you want to type onto the, the template, and then just save the job template. And you will then be able to use it over on the service tickets when you're creating new jobs.